Yeah, absolutely terrifying, Amber. As a matter of fact, we're standing in his backyard right now. This entire area where we are was caught in the crossfire, the bullets uh, coming this direction. And uh, they say that it all started from that upper window right there. Sang Chun still remembers having to escape war growing up in Cambodia. That the bomb that uh, dropped in my village lost my daddy and it just ran out. Now, decades later, he never expected that same kind of violence would show up right at his door again a second time. I can't believe it right beside my house. These flowers marking the spot where he saw officers get hit by gunfire. Sang says he had to duck for cover as the suspect next door opened fire on law enforcement who were serving a warrant on 39-year-old Terry Hughes Jr. for illegal possession of firearms by a convicted felon. He knew. You're not going to give up. As the gunfire continued, all the bullet is like, it's like when it hit the ground, it's like popcorn, like the ground like this. You can see in his video officers taking position like behind parked cars in his garage. Just beyond that is where he saw two officers go down. That's the one got hit, and out of one, he stand like this, and then he got hit, fall over. That shootout ending with an hours long standoff killing the suspect. You can see the front of the home mowed down. In the end, Charlotte Mecklenburg officers Sam Pelochi, William Elliott, and Joshua Iyer, along with Marshal Thomas Weeks, were killed and four others were injured. We're a resilient profession and a resilient city, and we will certainly get through this. But it will take time and it will take support. Support that begins right here. Thank you to the officer that left your life here, all four of them. Thank you for your service. Now, a little bit earlier, we saw a U-Haul truck uh, clearing out the house uh, next door where this happened. Uh, now, in the meantime, still a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, as we mentioned, some of the gunfire was coming from this side of the home, but uh, more gunfire was also happening from the front of the home. And because of that, investigators were initially wondering, just because of that sheer amount of gunfire, whether there could have been a second shooter. We're told that is all part of the investigation. What's also part of the investigation, as you mentioned, is those two women, including a 17-year-old girl who were inside the home at this time uh, as well, uh, we're told they are now cooperating with investigators. And as we mentioned, uh, there were uh, several weapons removed from the home, including an AR-15 and multiple rounds of ammo. But that is all part of the investigation as it still unfolds. We're live in Charlotte tonight. Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.